Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today we are going to draw Miles Morales from the new Spider-Verse movie. Let's go ahead and draw his head first. So we're gonna draw his face, which is pretty simple, and Spider-Man's always been a really simple kind of standard head shape. Right after that, I'm going to go ahead and bring down an eye line to here and then an eye line up here. So his big bug eyes are going to go in that area. After that, I'm actually going to draw through his head and create his shoulder. So his shoulders, like his head is what's coming forward. And then his chest goes down. So his shoulders go out this way. His chest goes down. Bring down that part and then bring down the bottom part of his body, which is just this perfect almost hourglass. And then his legs are going to be spiraling out each side. All right, so let's start with this arm right here. You're going to jump back here. We're going to make one shoulder. And then you're going to jump over here and then make the other shoulder this way. After his shoulder, you're going to create the other section of his arm this way. So we're just going to bring this into like muscle parts. So we're going to go this way. And then you're going to go into back here. Bring out his elbow. And you're going to jump on this side. There's going to be a divot right here. And you're going to bring out his forearm. And then we're going to close that off for now. So it goes out and then bring it in. Leave that there for now, and then we're gonna jump to this side, bring out this section of his arm, which will be going out. This way and then bring down his section of his arm here, his forearm, just like on the other side. And round it in. After that, what you're going to do is from the bottom of here, bring down this side. We're gonna bring up one leg and it's gonna go into the bottom, go up, bring this in and then we're gonna go downwards with this leg and you're gonna make a section going this way and then you're going to make a section going down and then this so this section's overlapping this one. This one's gonna go down. And then we're gonna go inwards and then bring down his foot. So I'm gonna bring this down, curve it out and then go in. So it kind of looks like a bowling pin almost. So we're gonna go around, bring this in go out and go in then up here with this leg what's going on is this calf is is almost overlapping into his thigh so I'm just gonna bring in this section here make another long oval and we're gonna make another funny looking foot Go around, bring this down, round it. Go into his ankle. So there we have his feet. Now we really need to start filling him in because he's looking a little weird right now. The thing about Miles is he has a really, it seems like he has bigger eyes more than Peter Parker. So, Let's round out the top of his head just a little bit, rounding it down. All 
right? When I say round it, I just want to kind of square it off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make two big ovals. One oval here, and then one oval here. And they should be getting somewhat close to each other. Not too close, just a little bit close to each other. What you're going to do then is you're going to go to the corners and make those famous little spider eyes that we all know. So it gets a little pointy in the corner here where they meet. And then go to the top corners of each eye. Then you're going to jump inside and create the rim around the red around the white part of his eyes. So then after we made his eyes, his head should be lining up alongside of his eyes. So we are going to go ahead and bring that in. Miles has an all black and red suit. So his face is actually, it's kind of different from Spider-Man. So it's a little bit inverted. What's going on is his suit is black and then these parts are red. So the overall Spider-Man pattern, we make the two webs going here and here. So once we have those placed, we can go ahead and space out the webbing parts and you go up. But we really can't see it that well because of how much his whole face. So we're just going to go ahead and put those there. And that might be different once you color him but just because he has got his, his facial features are different from the regular Spider-Man. And I'm going to go down here where I'm going to create his actual emblem his actual logo of his spider. So we have a circle starting here and then we're going to put the spider's body right here. And what's happening with the spider? How I love to draw all the Spider-Man logos. What's happening with the spider is it's kind of, it looks almost like a spray paint effect. So we've got our little tweezers, like, like I don't know, the little pinchers on the Spider-Man. The little spider and then the spider is going to go up and we're just going to draw his legs using just lines for right now so i'm going to go up bring this out up bring it up bring this one up this one this way this one this way and then down and down all right, so the thing about this Spider-Man logo is that this is all connected and there shouldn't be, the legs are a little bit fatter, so it has this cool paint technique. So I'm gonna make the legs a little fatter and round out the ends of each of the legs. And then the red circle should be connecting to each of these. So like how Spider-Man's logo is all black and how it all connects together, that's how this one should go, except it's all red and connects together. And I'll have to show you when I ink this so you have a better understanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out his chest outwards and bring it in and give him a little bit more muscles bring down this one bring out this side of his chest and bring this down 
Now we're going to start with the red part of his shoulder. So it's going to go from this side of his face, go out, and then bring it in, and it's going to cut off. And then the top of the red part of his suit is going to go out. And in. So that's the red part. And then this part over here, it's going to go out this way and then bring it in. And then the red's going to be lining alongside, outside of this part of his chest. Bring up this part of the red of his suit, and this is still the black part of his suit right here. After that, what we're going to do is we're start. let's start shaping up his arms just a little bit more. So this part is nice and round right here, and we still want to make it look like his shoulders are being hidden behind his head, like his head's coming forward. And then we're going to make this a nice clean line right here, goes up, curves, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to round off this hand back here. Then we're going to go ahead from this circle, from his wrist, you're going to start with his thumb. His thumb's always the easiest, so go up and then back into his hand. And I'm actually going to curve his hand going inward into his chest like this by giving it that curve. And then I'm going to make one finger here. His fingers aren't too complicated, they're just rounded out, give a little bit of space. Make his middle finger. Make his ring finger. And then his pinky finger. And this is all going into the distance. And now the thing about him is that this part is the black part of his suit and then his fingers are red. And I'll have to show you when I'm coloring that exactly what exactly is going on there. And I'm gonna bring down this part, go in, curve into him inside of his elbow. You wanna curve in right there and then make sure that this part of his arm is nice and smooth and going into his suit and then this part will go in that way so now we have a more a nicer clean look to his arms now let's jump over here on this arm same thing that we did over there I'm just gonna go ahead and circle off this side of his arm just so we can work up into that point so this arm we're gonna start with his shoulder nice and rounded make this part a little bit rounded bring this down just making a nice cleaner line and then I'm gonna jump to his hand over here it's very similar to what we saw on the other side everything is almost equal it's just that we're seeing more side than the other when he's jumping as like just the pose that he's jumping off the building so I'm gonna wrap once again I'm gonna go down and curve the bottom of his hand and bring out his thumb I'm gonna curve inwards and I'm gonna go up with his pointer, get right on the edge of my paper. Pointer, give a little bit of space, bring out his middle finger, his ring finger, a little bit of space. Didn't give enough space, I'm just gonna move this over. And then his pinky, and then this part of his hand this is off into the distance. And I'm just gonna make these a little bit more boxy, give them more shape as opposed to just making them so extremely round. And this part is his black suit and then his fingers are red. All right, so let's move to his thigh. You're gonna go up from his thigh. We're gonna make this nice and muscly. And then we're going to round out his kneecap, bring in his kneecap. So I'm going inwards, and then I'm going to go down into his thigh, I mean his calf. And then I'm actually going to go in right here, 
make that calf a little bit thicker and then go in. And then this part of his bottom is gonna go straight down, in. And then this part, we're actually gonna bring out this part of his chest just a little bit more. So this part's gonna go into his leg. And we're gonna bring out this thigh muscle here. And then we're gonna bring, let's start going up here, bring this up, start giving more shape, make this nice and flat here. Bring down this part of his muscle. You're gonna go into the kneecap just a little bit. So I'm gonna go down. And then this part of his leg is gonna go inwards and close to the kneecap. And then actually we're gonna bring down this leg muscle. Bring it down, go in. And then round down this calf. Bring out this muscle right here. Bring down this part of the muscle of his foot. Curve it inwards. And then we're going to go back here. Keep this nice and rounded. Bring it down. There. Now the thing about Miles' suit is his toes, like his fingers, are red. So this part is red alongside. Almost like it's the heel to his shoe. It's like boots. And then you're going to go, and then his heel is red, and then alongside of his foot is red. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse by Sony Animation. I hope you guys will go and check it out. And hopefully maybe next week we can go ahead and draw Gwen. So I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful day.